In the past years, sightings of different sea creatures washing ashore in the Philippines were being ignored. The last one was a sperm whale, with its stomach full of plastics, yet it was still ignored. Until one fateful day, a 73-foot decomposing blue whale was found on the shores of one of the most polluted cities in the country. It changed how people looked at the issue. The closer people looked, they realized that it was entirely made of plastics. We are going live here dahil may napaka-interesting. На Филиппинах з пластикових відходів зробили скульптури. Вони встановили на філіппінському пластик капривентай. Скульптура де вона ваєна морта. Мочо в Філіппін. Там проблема на пластик. The dead whale was Greenpeace Philippines' message to the 2017 ASEAN leaders to take concrete measures against the worsening case of plastic pollution. The Philippines globally ranks number three. Yung sa pinakamaraming basura na tinatapon pumupunta sa ating karagatan. The story was picked up by local and international media outfits. And in less than 24 hours, it shocked the entire world. Reaching the shores of over 100 countries, Plastique, hein, vous le voyez, vous y croyez peut-être. Non, non, elle... non, vous n'y croyez pas. Non. En tout cas, des millions d'internautes y ont cru. Elisabeth, ils ont cru que c'était une vraie. It even inspired other whale impressions. Most importantly, the issue was included in a proposal for the next ASEAN Leaders Summit, just one day after the launch. Uh, this is not a wake-up call anymore. It is an urgent call to action. The dead whale may be fake but the message is real.